Not Maggie, uh, Toady Treat, Grandma Black, got the main home, is that it? This pack. Yes, her family. Yeah, that's yes. And then Elizabeth and, and the, the other two girls got these three homes. And I think this one was Elizabeth's. Elizabeth right. actually actually owned that until much later in life. She owned it, she she it? Sold it when we bought and gave us the money. So this home is probably, this home is Elizabeth's. Yeah. So Elizabeth, Addie, and Maple, and Mabel. These three homes here. And uh, what, 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 what street are we on? This is We're the corner. on 7th. Seven. Seven. need to put that on for the people to know. Right? We're at 7th uh, seven. and Pagonia. 7th and Pagonia. Patagonia. So these three homes belong to Mabel, Adonasha or Addie, and Elizabeth, the three daughters. And then Margaret, or Toady, received the main house, the treat home. We are in Benson, Arizona, the corner of Patagonia and 7th near the waterworks. I think it's this one too, because I've seen pictures and it had a big wide porch and that one was just a small porch. I think it's this house. The debate is on. Is it this house? <laughs> or that house. Say again, keys. Grandma and some of the grandma, Bla grandma Stratton, the Black Stratton. I'm gonna get some pictures out of the car. And some of us believe that it was this one because of the porch. Margaret may have a picture of the house. And Elizabeth said it was this one. Um, I think when this, that could be because this was all a big big lot. That's where my dad had his, uh, my grandpa had his horses. And there was a big lot before you got to his house. Of course, his was the only house on the, on the whole place. Mm -hmm. This home is at the corner of 7th Street and San Pedro in Benson. Oh, well, look, when my mother would have to do the laundry because they didn't have water plumbing. There was an outside house. And she would build uh, bonfires in the backyard and she'd scrub the, the clothes on the washboard back here. Yeah. I remember seeing one of those. Well, let's go see if Grandpa's big house, his reading room is here. You know where that big couch came from? And he would read for hours and hours. Well, my, my grandfather had a building all his own where he kept his books and magazines and public, and he'd go out there and that was his study. One day my mother was hanging up clothes and the I said, oh, look at that. And it was a great big, long, beautiful snake. Oh, how and neat. And she grabbed me up and ran in the house. And I thought it was such a pretty little, I didn't know it was a snake. So I said, look at that pretty thing, grandmother. And then when I was older, I'd come and help my mother, you know, paint and scrub and clean. We were the ones in the family that did that. My yeah. <laughs> We love doing it too. We're not sure, Marsha, which is which house. Well, from this looking at the... This one fits the description, but the other one fits the pictures that I've seen, so I don't we, know. We have the picture. We have pictures here that she brought. Has anybody ever been to the Benson Museum to see if there's any... No. This is the home in 1980. This is the home in 1980. Who's <coughs> this is this is Frank Treat with his family in Tucson. They're home in Tucson in 1914. 
This is 1909, 1914. There's a historical society around here, so you're right. I'll tell you something else I remember about this house. You go in and they have a little parlor, and the parlor was just so gay and beautiful. And instead of a door, it had a curtain. And, but nobody was allowed in the parlor because it was always cleaned up and open. That sounds like the living room of my grandmother. She always had to come in the side door and could never go in the front room at all. I mean, that was uh -huh. out that limits. <laughs> well, that's kind of what Adonasi did too with her front parlor. She closed it off and only allowed people in when she was playing the harp or when they were invited. <laughs> Well, shall we go try to look up and down the street to see if we can find the real house? <laughs> yeah, I see the picture. Hey, Grandma, would you tell us about, about the roller coaster? Oh, yes. Since my grandfather had all this land, he decided he wanted us to have some fun, so he built my sister and I, Betty Betty, a roller coaster. And then we invited the few neighbors that we knew that had children, they would come over and we'd all play on the roller coaster that my grandfather built for us. It was just wooden and it was straight, but it had ups and downs. And somehow he figured a way for us to go up and down and we'd get on that roller coaster and go. See, there wasn't anything on his, this, uh -huh. nothing on this land except his house. <laughs>